my name is Rosanne and thank you for joining today's practice. Today I want to guide you through a happy hip routine. So if your hips are feeling stiff, this is the routine for you. So when you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So welcome to your 30 minutes practice, which is going to be designed to target the hip. So my client was um, just saying how she's got horrible hips and at the end she was like, I have happy hips and they're smiling. So I guess the idea to transform horrible hips to happy hips. So we'll start lying down on your back, on your mat. Take the time to shuffle feet, shuffle shoulders. Get settled in. Feel free to close down the eyes if that feels good. And start to notice your breath, perhaps placing a hand onto the belly and a hand onto the chest to feel yourself breathe, as always, our breath being our guide. Feeling the belly rise, feeling the chest expand. And then when you're ready, feel free to start to wriggle fingers and toes, gently rock the head side to side. In your own pace and time, feel free to stretch the body, stretch arms or stretch the legs. And then go ahead to collect the knees in. As we hug the knees in, we're going to rock side to side just to start to notice how your back feels as you gently rock side to side. And then starting to hold the knees separately as we draw the knees out and then back together. So in a circle motion of two opposing circles, knees draw around, knees draw together. And then when you're ready, take your time. Let's draw the knees out to the side. Let's take the arms through the inside. I want to keep the heels down for the first part. So coming into a variation of happy baby, draw the knees out. The feet are drawn towards each other and heels are down towards your hips. From there, it might feel quite nice to gently rock side to side. It might feel better to stay still. Well, let's take another breath here. And then from there, let's extend the legs up first. As we release the feet, pointing and flexing the feet, noticing how the hamstrings feel, how your legs feel. And then start to bend the knees, drawing the knees out, flexing the foot. Arms are now going to take hold of the inner arches of the feet, coming into happy baby. And if that doesn't feel great, then you're going to come back into the variation of happy baby that we've just done. Again, you might rock side to side, you might stay still. Relaxing your shoulders, letting go of your head. And then from there, releasing the feet, give them a good shake out. And then start to plant the feet down, mat width apart as we stretch the arms out into a T-shape. Coming into windscreen wipers, inhale center. Exhale, knees sway over to right. Inhale, knees back through center. Exhale, knees to left. Doing that within your own pace of breath. Noticing how the inside of your thighs feel, outside of your thighs. How the hips feel and how your back feels as well as you take that gentle twist. Nice. Once you feel even on both sides, take your time. So you finish on your left to come back through to the center. From there, 
we're going to roll over to the side so it doesn't matter which side roll over to the side where you can see your the the camera we'll see the screen and then as we roll over to the side we're going to lie onto the arm and then just checking with the back check that your back is in line with your edge of your mat and then we're going to start to bring our knees at a diagonal so the thighs are a slant hands onto the hips just checking that the hips are stacked on top of each other relax your shoulders deep breath in and then breathing out, start to draw the belly button towards the spine, start to engage with core, and you might start to feel the side of your body lift off the floor. From there, keep the big toes together. Inhale, open the knees. Exhale, draw the knees back together. Inhale, open. Exhale to close them. So like a clam, opening up and then drawing back together. So the idea of this exercise is that we're starting to isolate that movement, starting to feel the outer glute firing up, warming up the hips. And try to do that slowly and steadily with control, keeping the core engaged, relax your head, shoulders, and just note that you're not taking the hips open too high. If you open them too high, the top of the hip will rock back. So keep the hips stacked on top of each other. Nice. Let's go for two more. Nice. And then from there, that top leg is going to stay bent. The bottom leg, you're going to extend out. Give it a good little tap. And then start to roll onto your front into half frog. So it's a bit like a fallen tree position, but lay on your front. So you're rolling onto your front with your knee bent. So whichever that top leg was, that knee is bent. Out to the side and just breathing there, noticing how that might feel. Perhaps you might have the foot pointing in towards your extended leg, or you might take that foot out up to you. One more breath there. Nice, so now you already know what you're doing. Let's roll over to the other side. So we're taking the same thing on the other side where the back is aligned with the edge of the mat. Head is rested onto the arm, knees are a slant so that the thighs are diagonal, hands onto the hips. From there, draw the belly button in towards the spine. Engaging with your core with the side of the body lifted. When you're ready, big toes together, inhale, open the legs. Knee draws up, exhale to close. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. And doing that within your own pace of breath. Again, notice is the hips tilted back? Can we keep the hips stacked on top of each other? So doing that control is going to start to isolate that firing up, isolating that sensation and engaging with that side glute, engaging with your core. Nice. Relaxing your head, relax your jaw. Let's go for two more there. And then when you're ready, again, that top leg we're going to keep bent. The leg underneath we're going to extend. Give that side booty a good little tap. <laughs> and then rolling onto your front again. Into half frog. On the other side. Letting the knee draw out to the side. Onto your belly. Breathing there. Nice, and then no rush, take your time. 
Start to slide that leg in. Hands are beside the chest as you lift the head up. Send the hips back. We're coming into a wide-legged child's pose with the big toes together, knees out. And just give it a good little shuffle. Forehead down. And start to settle into wide-legged child's pose. Noticing the sensations and perhaps stretch that you might be feeling after activating the glutes. The sides. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Nice. From there, pressing through the hands, let's come in through to all fours to tabletop. On your next inhale, let's lift the chest, lift the tailbone, broadening the shoulders, looking forward. Exhale, tuck the chin in, round the back, draw the belly button in. So coming in through to your cat-cow positions, attending to your spine, moving in time with your own pace of breath. From there, when you've finished in your cat pose, let's look forward and then step our right foot forward to come into lunge. And we're not going for the depth of the lunge, we're going to focus on the hips and the pelvic tilt. So when you're ready, taking a short stance in lunge, hands onto the hips as we take a deep breath in. And then breathing out, get that tailbone to scoop under, starting to really feel that through the hip flexor. Think about the lower rib and hip drawing towards each other. Nice breathing there. And then on your next inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, start to just slightly tilt over to the right. So you're starting to feel or add into that stretch on the hip flexor. Nice. Next inhale, come back through center. Exhale, bringing the hands down. I'm going to bring through the inside as we shuffle the foot out to the side. So think about hands being underneath the shoulders, foot sits to the outside. And then when I tuck the back toes, lift the back knee to come into lizard pose. If it doesn't feel great to have the back knee lifted, you can also lower it. I want to take three full breaths here. So arm is on the inside of your thighs. That's it. Deep breath in, we're lengthening the spine. Breathing out, perhaps finding the space to lunge the hips forward and down. Last breath there. Nice. From there, let's tuck the back toes, lift the back knee if you haven't already. Sweeping that right leg up to three-legged dog. Bending your knee. Sweeping that knee forward to come in to pigeon pose. So that right knee draws towards your right wrist. Foot sits up on, underneath the hip crease. Tucking the back toes as we shuffle the knee back. Arriving in pigeon. Let's inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, let's fold on forwards, bringing the forearms down. If it feels good, you might take the elbows out wider. You might rest the head down onto the mat or onto your hands. Breathing there. Deep breath in, noticing how that breath is changing the sensations that you feel within the pose, attending to that right side of your hip. Nice. Next inhale, let's lift the head up. Bring the hands back down onto the mat. Tuck the toes, lift the back knee, stepping in through to downward dog as we pedal the feet. Notice how one side of the body feels to the other. Nice. And then on your exhale, let's draw the knees down, back through to cat-cow, taking the same thing on the other side. So on your inhale, lifting the tailbone, broadening the chest as we look forward. Exhale, tuck the chin in, round in the back, draw on the belly button in. And feel free to shuffle as well, attending to the spaces in your body. I'm looking for a bit of a tension and a stretch, some movement. Nice. 
the next time that you're finishing cat pose, come back through to all fours and then inhale, step that left foot forward to find that short range lunge. So we're not going for the depth, but we're thinking about that tilt of the pelvis. And you can place the hands on the hips if you like, as you inhale, lift to lengthen. As you exhale, start to tuck that tailbone under, thinking about the lower rib and hips drawn towards each other without rounding, still keeping upright. Hopefully you start to feel that now on that right side of your hip flexors, your right hip flexors. Breathing there. Nice. On your next inhale, let's reach those arms up. Breathing out the side, you start to tilt towards that left side. Now start to add to that stretch in that hip flexor. Find that focus point in front of you for balance. Next, inhale, come back through center. Exhale, plant the hands down. And remember, we're taking the hands on the inside. Shuffle the foot out. Hands are in line with the shoulders. Left foot to the outside of left hand. Tucking the back toe, lifting the back knee to come into lizard pose. Perhaps if that doesn't feel great to have the back knee lifted, you can also lower it down. Breathing here for three full breaths. Inhale to lengthen spine. Lead with chest. Breathing out, lunging into that lizard. Nice. From there, take your time. If you haven't already, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee, and then inhale, sweep that left leg all the way up to three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee to come into pigeon pose. And as we arrive into pigeon pose, left knee draws to left wrist, foot sits under the hip crease. Breathing here. Inhale, lift the chest, and then exhale, folding forward. And as we're in pigeon pose, breathing here. Noticing where can you soften to release. Attending to this left glute, this left side of your hip. Last breath here. Your next inhale. Let's lift the head, walk the hands back onto the ground. Tuck in the toes, lifting the back knee to step into downward dog. Feel free to pad all the feet. Take some movement. Oh, if downward dog just doesn't feel great for you right now, you might come Back into a wide-legged child's pose, sitting the hips back, resting the head onto the ground. Nice. Whichever option you're in, let's take another breath there. Nice. And when you're ready, those in uh, child's pose, guide yourself up. I'm gonna tuck the toes and those in downward dog, start to walk the hands towards the feet. We're coming into squat position. Squat position, you might take the feet out wider. You might have the heels lifted. You might have the heels onto the floor, palms together. I'm just gonna turn the other way. Deep breath in to lengthen. Breathing out, feeling that resistance through the arm and to the legs. Start to bring your right hand down. Inhale, sweep left arm up. Nice. Next, exhale, guide that hand down. Inhale, sweep right arm up. And exhale, release that hand down. Start to walk yourself to the middle of your mat so you can plant your bum down and if it feels okay, rocking back and forth. And if not, 
Tell yourself to lie down. And gently rock side to side. Nice. From there, let's start to guide the soles of the feet together, planting or placing them onto the floor, coming into reclined bound angle, creating a diamond shape with your leg. Invitation here is to have the hands on the belly or stretch the arms out to the side or create a second diamond shape with the arms up over the head. Shuffle the feet in closer or further away, finding what feels good for you. As you find your happy hips opening up here. Releasing of any tension. Deep breath in. Breathing out anywhere in your hips that you can release and soften a little more let's go for our last couple of breaths here When you're ready, guide the arms in. Use the hands to guide the knees in. Option to come into a still rebound as you shuffle the feet out into constructive rest knees together. Or if you'd prefer to take movement, feel free to come back into windscreen wipers. Whatever feels good for your hips. And feel free to take any movement or stillness, whatever your body needs. when you're ready starting to guide yourself into corpse pose shavasana extending the legs out feet out mat width toes to fall out to the side hands can rest on belly or perhaps palms face up arms alongside the body allow your body to rest in neutral here after our hip work allow your body to receive the benefits of our practice So we release feet and let go of legs. As we soften and release hips to the ground and unravel the spine. Shoulders relax. Soften belly, soften chest. Let go of the head as we relax the jaw. Relax the mouth, tongue, eyeballs, eyelids, softening the space in between the eyebrows. Next breath out, releasing your entire body to the floor, resting in neutral, receiving the benefits of our practice. Feel the space within the hips that we created through our practice together. When you're ready, take your time to gently 
Notice feet and hands, wriggle fingers and toes. Notice the head as you may gently start to rock the head side to side. And your next breath in, feel free to take a full body stretch. And exhale to hug the knees in as you give yourself a big squeeze and a big hug. Gently rocking side to side. And from there, either rolling over to the side or rocking back and forth. Guide yourself up into a comfortable seat position. With the hands at the sense of the chest. As we arrive back into our day and closing our practice. Inhale, let's circle the arms up over the head. Exhale, hands down through centre. Namaste. Welcome back. Thank you for joining practice and I hope that you have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.